Uh, that's not what, what we're going to talk about right now. We're currently talking about New York City versus New Jersey here, folks. We have oh, really? Zero to None versus Wraith. Wraith coming, of course, coming with uh, Godfident. Two, oh. uh, two New Jersey people, and man, are they homies. Like, great yeah, personalities. They're both really cool to hang out with. <laughs> they, they, they love having fun right now, but of course, the fun has to stop, and it's time for business here, folks, in winner's quarterfinals. So, winner gets top eight, of course. Um, Zelda, Z, ZTN, a bit of like a, I don't, I don't even think we can say new blood at this point, like a newcomer no. to Aeon, because like he started coming in around like summer, spring, end of spring, beginning of summertime, and made a big splash. Like, yeah, I think last week he won an Aeon. He won an Aeon, his yeah. first Aeon, so. It was not too, uh, not too, uh, not too many people came, but it still is impressive. It's still that impressive. You're able to yeah. topple over all the uh, all the showing faces. Yeah, be, managed to beat Sinji and uh, Soul Arts to take to take the throne there. Very impressive victories coming from ZDN. Of course, and, and um, Snake, not a very common character here. Not at not, all. Not here. Yes, yeah, just hilariously oh. enough, here. Yeah, here. <laughs> Tri-State is a lot, but like just here specifically, there's only like two. There's Destro and. Well, yeah, basically yeah. just Destro. <laughs> I can't really just think of anyone else right now. I can't think of any any other, like, uh, I think the Leaf also. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, these two just going back and forth. Just I think what, what right now ZTN is trying to do is do some solid Zelda play. Just, you know, build the wall with the Phantom. Yeah. Try and pressure them. Pressure Wraith. Uh, Wraith to do something wrong here. But um, and Wraith just trying to utilize those grenades to the best of visibility. Of course. Maybe somehow keep Zero to None out of his no-no square. Yeah, exactly. Oh! Ooh. A big trade there, and and ZTN's gonna take the first uh, stock here, but gets clipped on the on the from the ledge. So, you know, I don't know if Wraith has any uh Ooh, yeah, good up tilt. has any uh, magic experience, but he managed to get the the snake up tilt. Mag the answer that'll make your dreams come true yeah, so here. Both of these characters are very uh, can rack up damage in a, uh, very easily. Of course, in a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. You know, Snake's got some high dealing aerials, and uh, Zelda's got the sweet spots of the back air and forward air. Oh, of course. And uh, all the other aerials are really strong, so. It, this could go from like a zero to a hundred in a real quick. Oh yeah, definitely one hundred percent. So we're gonna get keep this going here. Um, Forty fifty seven percent coming in with uh, ZTN. Wraith currently currently uh, with the advantage. Oh, but a weird trade is gonna take it there. Up B. Very odd trade. Yeah, weird trade there. Oh, neutral B, but uh, does a not get too the late up on the up tilt. Yeah. So no connection there. No the connection. Board there. smash going. Uh, the fan. I'm gonna be able to push him in a little bit. Yeah. All right, back and as EDN off stage gets back on again, up a little too late. Yeah, I think he's like he's trying to uh, bait ZTN to like drop shield for a second. It's not working again. Again, this no. strong aerial coming out of nowhere. Not the greatest DI coming from Wraith. No, not yet. But ZTN is uh, at 128 percent here. Uh, again, just trying to get something started here, and he's just fishing for that up tilt. I'm not sure if I agree with that. Yeah, not at all. I would definitely. You know, try to go for a safer option, but there we now go. He, gets a, he does that at the right timing and going to be able to catch him. Fifth, six times the charm, folks. Exactly. All right, so now about even games. As I say that, you know, Wraith eats a face full of uh, Phantom. Yes. Now just throwing in the grenades and ZTN throwing out the uh, the Din's fire and the Phantom. Oh yeah, everything out there, including the kitchen sink and a little bit of Nehru's love. Oh, of course, why not? Got to send some Everybody love, of course. Some love. Spin around right over onto Jared percent here, but he's off the percent. Yep. So let's see, a couple of uh, goodness, I'm sorry. Throwing the grenade, throwing the grenades around. Um, ZTN utilizing those platforms, trying to make sure everything's correct here. Yep. Good, good dodge roll, dash attack. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so so right now I'm, I'm actually noticing like Wraith just going in like like fi like weaving the needle within this like wall, but ZTN's not putting up as much of a wall as like I'd, I'd like to see from. Uh, yeah, he's definitely letting him in a little bit. He's not really holding his guard as well as you'd like to. And along with that, Wraith is also using the uh, platform to the best of his ability, actually using it to like maybe stop the grenades and mix it up and uh, land at different angles. He has the, oh, he Ooh. went for a sneaky C4 there. I didn't even see that one coming. <laughs> I saw the beeping and I it didn't register just yet. Trade with that, with the grenade. Managed to make it back to stage though. The up tilt and the forward air is going to be able to live this time. Got nah. cover high. Phantom going the wrong way. Uh-oh. High wave and the up tilt. <laughs> That's not good. All right, Wraith taking it on the board. Very close set between these two. Goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> no yeah. worries, man. Just um, so case of the coughs, I guess. That's yeah. fine. That's it's been fine. Going on all day. But uh, yeah, uh, I think the biggest thing that like I'd like to see the adjustment from at least Wraith is you know, you know I get it that 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 the fishing for the up tilt is going to be like you know the answer to your to your dreams come. What? 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 
Did he choose the wrong character? I uh, I don't know. He seems oh, no, confident. CT. Oh. He seems confident this. in this. All right. Hey, so. This is a surprise. Uh, All right. Arthur Quang would be proud. We, Mr. Quang, are you watching, folks? Brandon, where are you at, man? <laughs> All right, but uh, so hero. Hero. I'm um, not familiar with Wraith having a hero, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong here, but along with that, um, ZT. Uh, this is the first time I've seen a hero that's not Brother Quang here on Long Island, oh, folks. Oh, yeah, there are not a lot of heroes at all. There is and not. In my opinion, I think Hero is kind of a strong character. I'm he's not the best, but he's not like awful. We're seeing it right. I think we're just seeing it right now. Oh, like yeah, most certainly. With this, with this, like with with the range that um uh, Wraith's using with Hero with side B and neutral B. The biggest thing that oh, oh. The coming back around, not gonna, not gonna kill you. You know, Zelda not having very much kill. Uh, not, not having to, not having much kill percent at thirty percent. Thank you so much. But the major thing that I'm seeing is that you know he's able to keep like at that weird that same range away from uh the Phantom and such. Like like Zelda wants to be at like a, I'll say a half stage, half of PS2. Yeah. In the mid in the mid charge side, is going to be able to just catch him with that. Yeah. Oh my God. He was ready to play bounce left and right with that, with that uh, new charge neutral B. Yeah, he wanted to. You don't want to. Uh, okay. So ZTN Ooh, taking a little bit of time to adjust. Yeah, oh. He's starting to adapt to this hero's play style. And adjusting is. Oh yeah. We're getting the adjustments right back. Back's uh, been cracked. We're relaxing. We're stretched out. We limbered up. Let's do this. Yeah. Uh, ZTN, of course, outside of... Ooh, unfortunate. ZTN, outside of Brother Quang, not having too much hero experience that I know of. As we said earlier, not too many heroes coming to the island. But still, he seems to be holding his own right now. Yeah, um, it's it's working. But ZTN is making the adjustments. Um, making the adjustments. He's now pushing uh, his advantage. But here comes, uh, here comes Wraith. Yeah, Wraith starting to try and build some momentum. And it is very easy for him to kill at very early percentages with uh, the crazy spells he got, like Magic Burst, he can roll a crit. He can do basically whatever he wants because he is hero. Yeah, and the major thing that also, whoa, using the shield to, using uh, the stand to uh, block a little bit of that side B action. Exactly. No, look at the rising elevator, not gonna happen yet. No, yep, we're not going up just yet, but again, look at how that covers the covers that like range when he fires out the Phantom. It's so fast charging and it's so fast coming out. Yeah, you think it doesn't work and oh my god, just phases through it and manages to barely get not get hit again, by the F-Smash. It covers so much range and the fact that he's able to utilize it well is detrimental for ZTN. Yeah, psych up time. That's psych up active, any good move could kill. Yeah, it could. Bounce time. I don't know if it's going to activate oh, against the... No, he, he doesn't have the D. He doesn't have the MP, so unfortunate there. Wraith reeling back a little bit, trying to make sure he's coming back went here. Went for the thwack. He I respect it. Went for the big thwack. He is at 97, so that was going to be a pretty high chance that it was going to knock out. Exactly. Kaboom, the stain is still there, folks. Up, he had a shield here. Ooh, and the, the short uh, the short range, ka uh, Kazap? Yeah, yeah. No, Zap. Kazap, yeah. Kaz Kazap, yeah. Yeah. All right. He's got he, oomph active, I believe. He has yeah, oomph, yes. Oomph, yeah. So one one shot, He's one got, opportunity. And there's the F air, and oh my corner. goodness. Able to kill from downtown. Yeah, 30. I'm telling you, oomph does, uh, does some magical things. Oh, yes, it does here. All right. Yeah, both so are pretty even percentages, but then again, it is hero. It is hero. Anything could happen. But the biggest thing that he, that I want to, you know, I want to divert your attention to is he has to, is that Wraith has to make sure he has enough he has enough MP to do something here. Oh, of course. He's currently at 70%. Ooh, that one hit. No! Oh, no. Put that down. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll keep this down. <laughs> um, that was just bad luck right there. We currently have uh, Asta currently uh, coaching ZTN right now. Homie plays Street Fighter. Oh, yeah. This song is great. We, we, we honestly sleep on the song a little bit. We do. Whoa. What? <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. There's I, no way he's going ZSS. I can understand. I can understand the switch back to Snake. Snake's more like, it's more guaranteed. With Hero, you have to... Uh, you have to, you know, rely on your RNG, and looks like RNGs is not on a uh, Wraith side today. This is winner's quarterfinals, so if he gets knocked into loses, he gets knocked to a loser, gets ninth situation here. Oh uh, yeah. So, so Wraith not coming out to Aeon very often, and the fact that he's able, basically guaranteed ninth, not a bad placing. It's not a bad placing. We have been invaded, folks, and uh, yeah. But a lot of outsiders from NJ coming out. 
and seeing what they got against the good old Long Island. Listen, man, don't sleep on Long Island. That's all. I, that's oh. the major thing I've been saying. Um, yeah. But going back to this matchup here, folks, uh, these two just playing like a, a zoning game. This time, this time, Wraith opting to pop the pump the brakes a lot, trying to trying to weave something into ZTN, it's just weave it out of uh, ZTN's like endless wall of. What all right, yeah, keep going. Sorry. No, no, go, go ahead. Right. One thing I'm a little surprised is that he went back to Snake. Uh, yeah, he won game one with Snake, and he, you know, ZTN did not change the character. Okay. If that's the case, why did he go hero game two? Um, it could be just to be like a comfort pick. Uh, that's true. That's true. It could be a comfort pick, and he does know the ma that matchup you were seeing with like the side beat, with like that his spacing with exactly. with some of his moves. So you know what? Like I actually, I I I, I kind of wanted to see more of the hero pick, but oh, we we all do. Let's be honest. But I think the major thing is like is like I said. You kind of have, with especially with how Hero plays, you kind of have to rely on his down B, and down B was not helping him out. And you know that Kamikaze did not come out, did not come at an opportune moment, moment yeah. there. It's true, but he did get him, you know, basically even percentages that he needed, but the Kamikaze was unable, you know, unfortunately going to be able to take him out. Yep. I can respect the snake pick going back, but you know, just the Hero pick doesn't make all that much sense to me. Comfort it pick, I can make sense, but you know. Just yeah, a, just a little bit of a confusing pick. Yeah, and the good news is with ZTN not take not not taking anything away from ZTN, he was able to adjust too to oh, the hero nice. uh, again. Like we mentioned, not that much hero experience here on Long Island or even in New York City, but he was able to adjust a nice F smash, dragging him into there, and now the first stock to be taken after two minutes. We immediately taking out the Phantom, and somehow twenty one from a grenade. Yeah. Oh, that's that's oof, good. Not good for him, but you know that's pretty good damage. Somehow. It's some pretty good damage now. He uh, Wraith's got to close out this stock here. Yeah, that's good. Down there up till just like that, the classic. Nudge throwing the grenades at the ledge, one for the down air out of shield, but the Nehru's love going to be able to catch him. Forward smash. Oh, yeah. He, oh. He went for the Sage of Song right there. He went. For, he went for the big up B there, and I think the good thing that. Yeah, oh, what? The lightning leg not going to kill you. He's going to recover high. He, he is going to recover high. Great air dodge onto the platform, avoiding that F smash. Of course. Okay, great. Managing to use the C4, cover himself there. 51%, 40% deficit to build up here. Um, it is definitely possible with the you know, comeback ability of Snake. He's got a lot of you know, high, deal, high damage dealing moves. Oh, yeah. He's got some early kill opportunities. Uh-oh. Uh going to send him off stage. A lot of damage done. Ooh, oh. He went deep for that spike, and it's going to be able to pay off. Yeah, it's definitely paying off right Man. now here. Again, going for the big, for the uh, big uh, <laughs> elevator, but nothing happening there. 71%. Oh, this is a big mountain to climb for Wraith. I would wave into the, the aerial spin. I'll, like to, I'll think of a better name eventually. <laughs> Again? Oh, great bait. Oh. oh. Phantom into the footstool. He definitely wanted the forward air. He definitely wanted the forward air, yeah. Awesome conversion that we would like to see. Great conversion. That would have put him into disadvantage. He's going to be able to read him with the up tilt. Shout out to Walugi. Oh, yeah. 57% on, on Wraith. Again, trying to get something sneaky. He wants to hide behind that Phantom. So here comes the C4, knocking, knocking, knocking at your door here. 13% on ZTN. Up tilt to Denair, 83%. Oh, no. Down tilt. Ooh, the fourth smash? Not, not yet. yet. Wraith can still do this. It is definitely possible. Zelda, not the heaviest character. Oh, and, and the lightning kick, that's going to do it. Yep. Uh, Sweet chin music. It's going gonna, it's gonna to claim that one. One, two, three. Well, actually, no, a 2 1 victory. You can see Wraith not happy about not, that one. Not too happy about he that one. He almost had 